Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I gotta go back to World 4 here to finish it off because remember I couldn't save anywhere in World 4 because all the signposts were taken, well not, not taken, used. And yeah, anyway let's get this castle going. Well I've already got the castle going and I'm just confusing myself now aren't I? <laughs> so let's just forget all about this and get nipped by a dry bone and look out for potaboos they pop out of lava but you probably know that by now and the first star coin up there and we got thwomps and get close they like to fall on you most of the time you can just like run into them like that <laughs> they aren't as threatening as they seem uh, that's a lot easier than to take the thwomp route believe me well I guess the thwomp route isn't all that difficult but you know it, it just it takes a while to get through the thwomp rope because you gotta keep waiting for the thwomp and yeah. Anyway, dig your way through this. Well, let it dig its way through this because you wanna go down here. There's a star coin. And go, 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 go. Yes. The third star coin, if I recall, is a pretty tricky one to get. It's... Well, I'll, I'll show you it when we get there. It's... Uh, on. Why did I think that was a good idea to do? <laughs> it's like right on that borderline of one of these swings. I think it's this one right here. And oh, poopers, mistimed that. Uh, see this right there? Yeah, you can't just get that easily. You have to kind of shimmy your way past the very edge and around it. It's, it's not the easiest thing to do. There we go. And it's only a two block landing point too, so be careful. Never underestimate. The power of lava. Hey, you're hitching a ride. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, you. Mm. Please don't. Potoboo me. Is that a verb? Well, it is now. <laughs> uh, any secrets? No, okay. I just that uh, new Super Mario Brothers games like to. Uh, likes to hide stuff and stuff via. Um, Right by the doors, Mega Goomba is the boss of this castle. And once you hit that switch, it makes these things pop up off to the side like pinball plungers, I guess you could say. You gotta ground pound it on the head, not a big deal. And don't worry, it won't go directly after you. Uh, after you uh, hit it, it'll just kind of stall for a bit. And yeah, you can wall kick over it any. Xbox D pad, why? 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 <laughs> and go, 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 and I win. Not a hard boss by any means, but it's a fun one. And with that, World Force is complete. See the symbol on the touch screen? Yep. All right. So let's start World 5 since the second branch path is completed. 5-1. The ice world begins. There's a snow spike. You can see what it does right off the bat there. Yep. Snowballs, they grow in size. You can also jump on the snowballs to break them, but you can also follow a snowball to try and get it to kill stuff along the way. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting concept. But the snowball, of course, can hurt you too. I wonder how far that snowball could go if I just kept... You know, letting it, letting it do its thing. <laughs> probably, oh, probably right up to here is where it would end off. Probably there's just enough enemies to give you a one-up as that's how the game works. By the way, look out for snow falling out of the trees there. It will stun you briefly, but it won't hurt you if it, you get hit by it. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 apparently. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, okay. So, oh no, I need that. I guess I don't need it. I could just use a single block. I was gonna say I need the Koopa, well, Paratroopa, to get that, but nope, guess not. Oh, by the way, any. <laughs> I missed. Anytime that you. Anytime you see a coin block that has multiple. Wow, I'm really sucking here. Anytime you see a coin block that has multiple coins in it, you can just ground pound and hold down on it to milk it for coins. But I don't think it's as fast as hitting it from underneath. Uh, you can do this to sort of block its advance of snowballs, I guess. It doesn't really help all that move. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's what the game's expecting of you. 
you don't have enough. Get that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That worked out well. <laughs> uh, gotta bait them out. Well, that works, I guess. <laughs> the reason why you want to do that is because you won't be able to get up to the top of the... I respawn now! <laughs> Let me up. Let me up. Okay. 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 They're not. They're gone. They're gone. Okay. Okay. They're not. Not coming back. Right. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get the one up anyway. <laughs> like what the heck? I guess I went far enough away for them both to respawn. Uh, respawn at the same time or something. I, I don't know. Anyway, five ones complete. I'm gonna go over to five two and uh, be on the lookout for a secret exit here. Uh, if you're a pipe checker, you shouldn't have much issue finding ye old secret exit. Um, a little secret up above here. Yep. Yeah, let me. Let, there you go. <laughs> this coin's up here, basically. Not all that special or anything like that. It's just something. Oh, these are spike tops. They walk around objects. Uh, you can't jump on them because, you know, they're spiky. Uh, they're like a buzzy beetle except, well, I should say they are like a buzzy beetle because they are fireproof, so you can't like shoot a fireball at them and whatnot and expect to have success and yeah. This place with a fireball makes this area pretty trivial, except when you're trying to race after a uh, one-up mushroom. <laughs> Somehow I could not think of the name, it's amazing. Now I've played a bazillion Mario games at this point, I want this. I know there's a coin there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> when I come back in the area, it's gonna respawn that uh, trampoline anyway. This is a money bags. I mean, a um, money. Oh shoot, money bag. If you hit it enough times, you'll get a one up from it. But it's it's kind of difficult to do that as you <laughs> as you see what I did there. So yeah. All right, now it poops you out here, and I'm gonna midpoint when I pass by. You're up right there. And now I can do that with ease. Uh, I'm gonna take this with me actually, because I think it'll make. I think it's gonna take. I mean, make getting ye old secret exit easier, and I'm gonna get that first. Just because it's a little more difficult. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should go for the regular exit first, because it's. Uh, um, it's, it's further away than the secret exit is. And meow. I got risky. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that behind. Oh, I guess I don't even need the springboard. The secret exit is in that pipe there, where that piranha plant's popping out of. Oh, come on. Come on, move it. Move it. Go. No. <laughs> I'm taking this route. Duh. Everyone's so slow. Isn't there like a mega buzzy beetle or something? Guess not. Well, there should be, because it'd probably be a lot faster. Oh, come on. Sticky stairs. Got it. Woo! And for the rest of 5 2 and, you know, the secret exit, I'm just gonna pretty much run through the stage for the most part. So that leads over to the tower, but we're not going there yet, of course. Uh, in fact, I'm not even gonna be going there after I finish this level, because there's a level. Um, in the alternate path down below on the map, but you've probably seen that too. So yeah, I like to do levels in order if at all possible. Yeah, you can even kill them when they're on the sides of blocks. It's kind of interesting. I guess it's because they're really reliant on uh, um, the surface that they're sticking to or something like that all around. If it's jarred, they, they're like, oh geez, it's not good. Heart stopping and yeah. No 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 midpoint. And you can't really run through this level, can you? It's 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 like it, there's road bumps everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, there's little secret hidden blocks here. It's just something for something. I don't know if there's anything like hidden here. Because it it, it almost looks like there that's an arrowhead or something like that, but that just might be my mind making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Might be seeing things that aren't actually there, basically. You know, hints that aren't actually there. Alright, now I gotta get in there. Yep. Poopers. Well, that works. <laughs> Let's go right through the body of a piranha. No problem. And boop. Secret exit complete. 
No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you know that map on the touch screen there? It's kind of useless. <laughs> it doesn't really hint as to where the secret exit is. I mean, I guess it tells you how close you are to the end of a level, but how does that help you with your strategizing or anything like that? <laughs> anyway, 5-A. Let's start. Then we got the introduction of these weird mushrooms. They change from balls that you can land on to wide platforms that you can land on. Yep, they are a transformative platform and those red coins are not worth getting. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Uh, I think there's, yeah, something down here. Mm, I want that, gotta hit that to get out of here, gotta hit you to get out of my way, and yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm just kind of um, tr trouncing through everything here because it's a pretty casual romp, I guess you could say, at this point. Um, it's Because it's a really simple and easy level, actually, despite how it might look to you. Um, hit this first. And then use this to go up here to get the coin. And now wait for the switch to end off. Because, you know, you get those coins got to... I mean, blocks got to turn back into coins. And now collect the coins. That's how to maximize your potential in that area, I guess. Isn't there something... Yup. Give me a mushroom. Give me, give me a mushroom. Yeah. Oh, mm. Too dangerous. <laughs> Uh, where's the last star coin? Down there. Oh, I don't like getting out of here. It's so high. There we go. <laughs> oh, I think I lost my chance. Oh, whatever. I made it. That's all that matters. Woo! Oh, yeah. That is indeed so nice. Oh, I didn't show where that pipe leads, did I? It's a shortcut to over there. See that? Upper right corner of the top screen. Yep, 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 yep. Now let's do the tower. <laughs> what waits us in this tower? An elevator. Of doom! Yep, spike balls. And they're going to bother you the whole way up. Well, maybe not the whole way, but... Yeah, they can also actually kill dry bones. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> because, you know, how do you kill the undead? Well... I guess you just roll a big spike ball at it. And there's a really big spike ball in this level too uh, that we're gonna have to fiddle around with. It's gonna be interesting. But uh, yeah, elevator levels are pretty interesting overall in my opinion. I mean, it, it feels like a waiting game, but there's typically a lot of action going on um, at all times, so yeah. And they're gonna collide and they bounce off of each other. Oh! <laughs> that could have been really bad. It did go kind of bad, but not really bad. Here comes Big Bertha! Well, no, that's a fish. <laughs> now you gotta stay away from it if at all possible. I suck. <laughs> but I want this. Really want that. Um, you can actually wall kick along this left side above the big spike ball there safely, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> For obvious reasons. But, uh, yeah. If you do that, I believe you can get a prize inside that box. I think, think, think it's a one-up. Could be wrong about that. Um, any... What? What? Oh, I forgot about the spikes. <laughs> but anyway, let's face down. Bowser Jr. On an icy floor. Yeah, ice is slippery. But doesn't really change the outcome of the battle. <laughs> Oh, that was my fault. It had nothing to do with the ice. That was entirely my fault. Bloop, I win. Woo. Woo. Well, this part went smoothly. So that's probably a good time to end it off. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.